Okay, YouTube family, we have it. The bombshell situation that most of us was avoiding, the truth of reality. PNB Rock Optopsies basically is here, y'all. Um, well, not Optopsy, but the coroner officially rules the rapper. Basically, the killing is a homicide. Let me just put it on the screen right quick. And it's one of them joints that's going to be one of them sad ones. You know what I mean? Most of y'all already know what we're getting to and what we're getting at. Now, I'm going to show the receipts in all these situations, but I just want everybody, you feel me, to basically pay respect to the situation in the room. If you guys could do that, um, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so we can rock out. I mean, this is what we're waiting for. People was trying to see how many shots you know what all happened what all surfaced and took place well we officially have it now and it's not good news the way he died you know what i mean a lot of you guys was telling me uh get more information don't stop bro just keep going some people who work the night shifts they tell me they're watching they're they're being not entertained but you guys get what i'm saying occupied with valuable information now here you go pmb rocks cause of death basically revealed as a coroner officially rules the rapper killing a homicide now let's get started with uh, with it all the way and read the articles from beginning to end now you got them explaining that pmb rock's death has officially been ruled a homicide the 30 year old rapper was killed after being shot in the back and chest that's why he was bleeding profusely and so much like that you can see it was just going crazy like that was terribly uh, a terrible situation where even if you try to suppress it, it's like, nah, that's too much wounds. Now, the 30-year-old rapper was killed after, you know, basically an incident. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner wrote Friday, he died in the hospital, the coroner reported, which I'm not going to show that video. I did a video explaining why I'm not showing that video at all, out of respect for the families and friends. On Monday, PNB Rock, real name, Rakeem Hazem, Allen was physically shot while eating lunch with his girlfriend Stephanie at Roscoe's house of chicken and waffles. A suspect who has not been identified by authorities and still at large approached the fleek rapper and ordered him to hand over jewelry and other items. Moments later, the suspect pulled out a gun and shot pnb rock several times now we know about the shooting because it went viral instantly instantaneously through all the social media platforms and you know it, it was one of them things like all the rappers who died it always gonna catch you off guard and you're never gonna be numb or adapted to it it's always gonna feel bad at least if you have a heart now on tuesday los angeles police chief michael moore said it was likely an instagram post alerted the assailant you you know what i mean for the situation as you guys can see what they saying they're letting you know about the los angeles Times situation now pnb rock was with family with his girlfriend or some kind of friend they that's what the news report said we know it was his girlfriend steph and as they're enjoying a simple meal you know, just a regular meal, a meal that we all kind of crave. You know, chicken and waffles is a wonderful dish. And he was enjoying it. He was brutally attacked by an individual who apparently came to the location after a social media posting, said Los Angeles Police Chief Michael Moore, according to the Times. Now, just prior to the incident, Stephanie had shared on Instagram a story of their lunch. The post was later deleted and Steph has also deleted her Instagram account. We all know why. The couple share a two-year-old daughter. The rapper also is a father to another eight-year-old, Milan. You know what I mean? Blessings and condolences to his kids, man. We're not done. We're going to read the rest of this in totality. Now, in one of his final interviews, taped roughly a week before his death, PNB Rock spoke with DJ Academics about the rappers getting robbed in LA. He said, it's so common, he said, later adding, I never got robbed ever in my life. He continued, I ain't gonna say never. I don't like saying never. I'm not superstitious, but I haven't been robbed. And unfortunately, like a week later, he gets robbed and killed. You know what I mean? Don't speak it into existence, y'all. Let me knock on wood just for me. You know what I mean? 
because the the way we live can transpire real quick and everything turn left have you begging for real for real now let's read the other article he said pmb rock that is i'm not gonna put myself in those situations because i know what happens in those situations he said when dj academics noted that the rappers are viewed as targets pmb rock shared that he moves different you know what i mean and i know what he means by that everybody feels they move different but in reality we all know how each other moves out here now when he alleged that he moves different ever since his oldest brother got killed rest in peace to his older brother man living in philadelphia a lot of things happen i didn't even know about this situation you feel me the mom gotta go through a lot now rest in peace to his older brother now he said i've seen people died i've been around people that died but when that ish hits your crib you know this is real life anybody could die it could be anybody the last person that you expect could die ask if that's what makes him nervous pmb rock said it makes him alert you know what i mean and that right there man i i, I felt that for a young man young rapper young father you know going through the ins and out of the hoods man these type of environment and the fact that he lost his brother no way he didn't suffer trauma at an early age no way he's not affected by ptsd he absolutely is i just wish i just wish in hindsight he kept moving how he was moving when he wasn't with his girl because if you notice the stories of pmb rock if you look at his situations and any downfall that may have taken place or any weakness that may have been shown it was always when he was with his lady slash baby mama slash girlfriend that was the only time that dudes kind of took him off guard even in the video with Southside chief which we're gonna still say alleged killer because i'm not out here to be no police 12 and say this is the person maybe it was just a regular spontaneous beef maybe Southside chief is telling the truth but if you notice on that video Southside chief is talking calmly and all that and who's instigating you know pmb rock to go back and forth it's the girlfriend she's giggling and laughing most of these females don't take things serious until ish hits the fan and when ish hit the fan it's the typical screaming hooping hollering help me help me oh lord help me and it's like come on man you didn't take it serious when the situation presented itself to you you laughed at it and you giggled that's all i got and it came out of pmb mouth himself when he was speaking to academics about going through these situations he said when he was in a situation like the robbery that took his life the first one or the second one that was that his girl was laughing and not taking it serious in fact didn't want to leave the area and also wanted to go shopping in the same vicinity where them so-called you know people in the past who tried to rob him so it just goes to show you man you got to always be guarded even if you have to be guarded with the people who claim they love you i.e stephanie look i'm your guy dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live love your family love your kids definitely stay blessed y'all keep your head on that swivel it's a dangerous world out here hope everybody stay blessed love your family love your kids stay blessed